And this is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida, in the backyard, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery, and thank you for joining me. I have a plan, and half an hour to make it happen. That silver needs to be much thinner. But you know what? It is what it is, and I have the time that I've got, so I'm going to use what I've got. I want a silver and gold landscape area in a painting and so I'm just going to give myself permission to make that attempt and I'm probably going to shovel it up or scoop it up. I had a little plastic container that had nail clippers in it and uh, I just cut it and folded it back and taped it in place and uh, that should help us out. So what other colors do I have? I have some copper around here somewhere, don't I? Please. There we go. I got it. So I'm going to try not to go too far. It is pretty hot out here today. I don't know how long the paint will stay. I've decided to stop adding white to my landscape areas because it's just they're just too uh, too dark. But it's not going to keep me dark wrong. Um, it's just too too contrastful for me to. Yes, there's something in the tip of that. Come out thing. Okay, I don't have time to waste on that right now. I made some go I made some uh, mica powder colors the other day. And I think I want to use them. And now that they've sat for a bit and I've shaken them up, I'm looking for a spoon to pour them out. But uh, I'm not finding the spoon. There it is. Cool. So this is this is the colorful mica powder. This was the most expensive of the bunch. And it's not that dissimilar of a color than the Art Mines color shifting or iridescent. Anyway, so these are the colors for my land area. I'm going to put those aside for a minute. And I want to make sure. Oh, really? Well, if you leave these outside in Florida too long, they don't make it. So I'm going to start bringing my dust pans back into the enclosure because they have a life, a shelf life. And uh, I really wanted that for my sky, so I'm going to go ahead and give it to myself anyway. I'm going to try and pick a bunch of colors that are very similar to each other and include plenty of white. And I don't think it's going to be the white metallic for me, Anita's. I think it's just going to be straight white. My white is actually Artist's Loft white mixed with Walmart semi-gloss interior house paint. And I think I can get away with making the top of this painting, the sky area. Oh, I want to play with that mica so bad. Um, I think I can get away with that, I said. Maybe just a little bit of this. And I'll... I said I wanted my colors all to be similar, and then I added that cobalt. I'll just mix that in a little bit. I'm not so sure about that turquoise blue, but I definitely like the one I had before it. So let's put some more of that back in there. I like purple in my sky. I don't want a lot of it, and I wonder if I have some really pale stuff. That's not pale at all. That's really bright, actually, and I don't want to run out of time. So I am just going to put some of that in there because I like the purple and I want to... I want to kind of mix that in. I'm not sure where it's going to go. I've got that turquoise, too. And the mica powder makes beautiful cells. Not that I really thought I wanted cells in my sky, but they will look cloud-like. That goes in the bucket. Okay, so now to decide where to start. I'm going to put that aside. I'm going to bring over my 16 by 20 inch canvas. Now the sky, I can use the white to spread the paint. And I have a big bottle that I'm going to just use right in the middle. And my OXO omelet turning spatula and all my other tools are over there. So I'm just going to very briefly spread that right in the center. 
because it will help paint flow and I don't mind if the white comes through on the top half. So I'm going to wipe off that spatula so I have it if I need it and on my skirt so it's completely paint free, we hope. And on the bottom, following suit, I guess, what did I do with my paint? There it is. I am going to go ahead and do the exact same thing because I really only have a half an hour. We can hear thunder rolling. <laughs> And we don't know how long we're going to be able to be out here safely because there have been way too many close calls lately. I've seen some lightning that landed way, way too close to me. Thank you very much. I'm going to touch up the edge. I'm going to throw that spatula in the bucket. I am going to bring over... That was some Crest White Strips. Um, I'm going to bring over my shovel. Maybe I'm just going to pour my sky. Let's grab a Princeton Archel Catalyst spatula from all the junk. That's not the one I wanted. I'll use the diagonal is a number four. Just going to take all that paint right now. Now the reason I put the paint for the, for the land mass in another container and mixed it a little bit was because I wanted to shovel it out in different sections and see if that would change things up into the bucket. Not that there's anything useful about that dustpan anymore. It's definitely time to buy more. But um, I am going to do... just random patterns because I'm still learning how to do this. I need to continue to let myself do it differently. And mostly I think what's going to happen is that the middle is going to spread across and the edges are going to merge with the edge catcher assuming I can find one easily I'm sure there's one right around here since I have a stack of like 20 and it doesn't matter the agitated paint as you can see will make a different pattern so I don't want to waste any of that I don't know what I'm going to do yet completely I don't want to waste any of that though let's just scrape her out completely. And since I might want to use this again, this is a strange container. It's just packaging. There we go. Now, what I like to do lately is not what I started out doing, which was just to tip sideways. What I'm going to do right now, oh, that's really super long. Wow. Okay, so I'm going to use my really super long edge catcher and put it on the bottom until the sky color hits it and just tip and watch the paint roll down and then back and figure I've got some mountains. I kind of, I can scrape off the paint on that's the residual. I want an edge catcher over here. That's not long enough. Is it long enough? Yeah, I guess it's long enough. I'm a little hustled. Maybe it's not long enough. I need a longer one. There's the one I need right there. So let's go ahead and let everything roll sideways. We don't know what's going to happen. We're going to get really unexpected patterns. That is partially the point. That's the majority of the point, actually. So I'm just going to let it roll and let it roll until it's so pooled that I can begin to let it flow around. And in the sky area, it's gonna configure things that look a lot like clouds. And in the bottom, it's gonna, I'm gonna rock that to cover the edge. And really while I'm here, if I have one, <laughs> I'm gonna grab my Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula and put that paint right in there in the in the missing place. And right over there too. Oh, I have paint on a different edge catcher and it's still dry enough out here for me to put something behind me. I'm going to just use the paint without agitating it anymore. Right over there. And we'll see whatever kind of picture it wants to make. I'm going to let that 
off of my spatula right over the edge of the canvas. Notice that the bottom has a missing area over here that I can touch up with my finger really quickly and right there. And now we're going to move on to the other side. I don't really need to worry about those gaps. I'm going to throw that spatula in the bucket and come back for side two. Actually, I think I want to make sure I don't have sky colors and the land and vice versa. So I'm going to, um, wow, I got water everywhere. I did threaten chain, but I am using a straw because agitated paint creates cells. And I like the idea of having some cells. I also like the idea of adding a little bit more paint. I might be sorry, but I have been liking the way white paint looks. And I think if I put some right there, we'll see if I'm right or not. I'm kind of afraid of changing my whole land mass. But uh, I also still think that it's pretty interesting down there. Hopefully that wasn't a mistake. I think what needs to happen at this point is I give myself permission to do some stuff that I need to do. Like first get that paint bottle out of the way so my turntable will rotate. Ah, there's a nice hot sun. The sun before the storm. I don't really want that white in there, to tell you the truth. And I really need to grab another spatula. And do I do it? Yes, I do. I will consider this more when I have more time as far as being able to tip both areas all at the same time. And I'm going to bring my straw in here. and create my cloud shapes with any luck by agitating paint. And that's pretty good. I'm not ha unhappy with that a bit. Same with the top. Blow some paint right over the top edge and use my finger to wipe it in. to the top edge and cover it. I could also drop a little more white paint over here. I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that. I kind of want to tip it that way. Let's do that. Let's tip it that way. I want an edge catcher to catch all that paint in case I might want to use it. So there's a really good way to salvage paint. And I'm going to get what I get. I'm going to have to fix that area on your, <laughs> your right. Okay, so let's just knock off the paint that's coming right down off the top. And cover the missing spot. Okay, we've got a more interesting sky. I got a jutting cliff up here. It's very confusing to me that all this sun is out here right now. I'm going to very, very gently pull that over, if at all possible. Touch up my edge. It's almost time to decide on if I'm going to use Do I have a dark cloud coming in from the side? Because it really looks like I do. So that might just be the way it is. And I have, yes, I do, I have somewhere here another, another spatula. And I'm going to go ahead and look for some. 
salvageable paint on my edge catcher that I can then just blend in here. And that's pretty cool. I'm loving all of that, actually. That's so cool. I love it. 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 I'm sorry. Now, I always threaten spirals, and I was thinking chain. But I'm really enjoying my colors. I've got some paint left on my edge catcher that I can use. Several pieces of it right here. Let's wipe this other spatula off so we don't have any other colors. Whoa, not into the painting, please. So I'm going to grab those and let them fall right down over the side and cover the last remaining pieces that I need. Covered. There's that thunder again. I might actually get this done. I am going to use my torch. To release any bubbles that might be caught in the paint. I see that down there. And also, potentially, agitated paint, which is paint flowed, will often make cells. I think I could have maybe um, blown up a little bit more. Throughout to make some different configurations, which I might be sorry about if I go too far. Yeah, I don't think I need to do anything else in there, really. I say that, and then I want to put my skewer in. So I've got some, some canvas showing right here. I'm glad I found it before. Now it's a cloud. Um, I'm glad I found it before I torch too much because that'll gum up the paint. I don't want that white spot in there so that can go away. Also, same thing for over here. I've got paint on my edge catcher. It just becomes beautiful clouds dripped off the end of my finger. We're good. So shop my Amazon link at no added cost to you and find the book I wrote called Because I Can, which is the first hundred Artworks created for my YouTube video channel, and I see more paint missing. And also, <laughs> the gold mica powder and the other mica powders I've just added um, that are pretty cool, actually. And all you have to do is ask me for the recipe. If you have questions, just ask me. I do sell my artwork. I give lessons at my studio in Spring Hill, Florida. The phone number on my website has now been corrected. You can contact me through my website. If you look on the last 20 seconds of the end screens of this video, you will find my website and we can have a conversation. I was offering my email address before, so if you've seen that, you're welcome to use that as well. I am loving the colors and the patterns in this. I do like adding a little sun or a sunset sky, but since I can hear thunder rolling, I'll count my blessings and be happy that I escaped. I am seeing a couple of things that I'm that I consider anomalous, like that floating black line that I don't know what would be. And you guys are going to be gone in a second, so check out my Pinterest and my Instagram under the video under show more along with the paint pouring recipe and give me a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind it helps the youtube algorithm know to give my videos better placement as well as if you want to do me a favor and enter the contest uh, to win one of my paintings all you have to do is contribute to help support the studio and you can see the contest um, you can see the prizes for the contest on the end screens also in this month's um, I need some more paint. <laughs> I found a spot that needs to be covered right there. Anyway, I love you guys. There's over 71,000 of you. Come again. Watch some more videos. Binge away, please. There's over 700 videos on the end screens. I will talk to you guys and on. Pray for me I don't get hit by lightning. <laughs> And I'll see you soon. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression to Start Studio Gallery in the backyard going, Hey, I love you guys. Bye for now. Priscilla out.
and you're still here. That's cool.